I got a little more on this bitch with me. Hey, who made it? You already know how this shit go. If it's beef and it's beef, what we talking about? Put that Drake to your face, ain't no talking it out. When you leave, this your boy, Real Deal Boxing Talk, coming at you with another one, and you already know, Real Deal. So I'm only gonna hit you with the real. This is my fire prediction for Devin Haney, Lord Devin Haney, verse Jorge Linares for the WBC lightweight 135 pound championship. And it's, it's gonna be fire. I'm telling y'all now, it's gonna be fire. Let's get into my fire prediction. Jorge Linares, let's get into it. Let's just talk about the age, for instance. Right now, he's 35. Devin Haney is 22. So let, let, let's let's start there. You, you, you're getting up there as far as in the, in, the, in the boxing age, but he still has. He you know he can still do his thing, but he is 35. Let's let's just let's just throw that out there right now, right? And his last his last solid fight, we have to say is who Carlos Morales, and, and it was a good fight. He won with a KO, but I saw flaws in that fight. He was flat footed. He was moving forward. That was a good thing he was moving forward, but he got it. If you're gonna stand in front of Devin, you gotta let your hands go. Morales, you got away with standing in front of him and kind of, you know, throwing a jab here and there, letting your hands go here and there. But if you stand in front of Devin, you definitely gotta let your let let your hands go and, and, and definitely do some um pressure. Let's see, Lomachenko, he lost that fight. You could also say that was a good fight too, but TKO, he got stopped. So I mean, it it is what it is. But if I mean, if we just going off resume, I really don't see nobody other than Luke Campbell. And if you throw Luke Campbell up there, same thing. He was flat footed. He was letting his hands go definitely. But it was a split decision. Luke Campbell was game, and it, it was a good fight. And it it could have went either way. A lot of people thought Luke Campbell won that fight. I thought Luke Campbell won that fight. So like I said, that could have went either way. It just matters what kind of what the judges are looking for that night. But at the end of the day, Lenars, he has decent head movement. I will say that. Um, I'm worried about him gassing out. Maybe like in the fifth or sixth round. I think he's gonna gas out. And I think Devin, Devin, Devin is gonna put definitely put the hands on him. So he's gonna have to be in the, in the best shape of his life to fight Devin. I think he's gonna have to I'm hoping he's coming to win. I'm assuming he's coming to win for the WBC championship, right? Um, I'm hoping though, after the sixth or seventh round, he is a veteran. So let's not forget. When you're a veteran in the game, you know you know how not to get knocked out. You know how to protect yourself. You know how to survive. So let's not forget that, boxing fan. Let's be honest about the situation right now, right? If he doesn't want to get knocked out, he knows how to survive for 12 rounds. We got to be real with that, right? A lot of people talk about Devin pillow hands and pillow fisted, right? That's what they say, pillow fisted. But you got to understand, Devin is only 22 years old. But I don't want to keep going into that. Y'all know he's 22 years old. His strength is coming. But at the end of the day, Devin is going to last longer. You know, He's defensive-minded first, right? Try to hit me, miss me, and then I'm going to hit you back. That type of deal, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, Devin is on the right path to, to, to have a long career. Lenaris, Lenaris. I think Lenaris is going to have to go come forward. Definitely come forward. Let his hands go. That's the only thing. That's the only thing I see right here. Throw a jab here and there, and he can't throw a lazy jab to where Devin can come over the top with it, or throw a few combinations if he misses. I think he's gonna have to come forward. I think he's gonna have to be training right now for twelve hard rounds. Don't take no rounds off. You might get one or two, maybe, maybe. But Devin gonna turn on the gas. I can see it in his sparring. If you look like you're tired, and you start backing up on your heels and you running, he gonna put the gas on you and he gonna let his hands go and he gonna get you out of there. So I think uh, Lenaris better. Come forward. I'm assuming the plan is come forward. I got a feeling the plan is going to be they're going to try to rough Devin up. Some telling me the first couple rounds, Lenaris is definitely going to have to close that gap. And it's going to have to get ugly. He's going to have to get in Devin's chest and let his hands go. The question is, will Devin be there? Now let's get into it. Lord Devin Haney, the dream Devin Haney, the WBC lightweight champion of the world what more can i say he's the real fast hands fast fast feet smart in the ring young only 22 years old relaxed in the ring he doesn't he doesn't lose his poise it's so many things i could say about devin that it'd be crazy right i'm gonna be honest with y'all devin could win this fight several ways 
He can stay on the outside and box. I don't think Lenars can box with him. So I, 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 something's telling me Lenars is going to have to come in or he would want to have to come in, make this fight ugly and move forward. But at the same time, Devin knows how to use him legs. He's going to be moving, bobbing and weaving, letting him, but Devin's going to be letting, him, letting his hands go. So that's one way Devin can win. He could just sit back and outbox him because I don't think Lenars had the gas for 12 rounds to fight Devin. I don't see it. But Devin also could. This is what I think Devin is going to do the first four or five rounds. I think he's just going to break Lenars down, break him down. Then round six or seven, we're going to see De Devin going to start coming forward and he's going to start letting them hands go. And we're going to see where, where Lenars' head at, if he really want to be there, if he really want to fight, or if he want to survive. And y'all got to remember, remember what I'm saying in this video when you see the, when you see the fight. You'll know around seven or eight if Lenars just wants to survive. He'll have his hands up, right? He'll have his hands up. And he, he'll, he'll, he'll throw a jab here and there, a few combinations, but for the most part, he's going to be running and he's not going to be letting his hands go too much, right? But he's going to want to survive because he, he doesn't want to get knocked out by Devin. I think Devin is going to apply the pressure and get him out of there. Or he could win this way. If Lenars just gets tired, Devin will just put the combinations. If, if Lenars gets tired in the late rounds, I think Devin could put them combinations together and get him out of there. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, y'all better get on. You better join the. I've been on. I've been on the train. You better get on the Devin, Devin Haney train because it's real. People keep sleeping on him. I'm telling y'all right now, and I don't want to hear nothing about he ain't fought nobody. And this is a big step up. Devin to fight Javante, Tiafimo, and Ryan Garcia in the same night. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. All right, but y'all know what I mean. He called everybody out. He not scared of nobody. It's just, and it's, it's, it's about, it's about skill. He has the skill. He'll, he'll make an A fighter look like a C fighter. You know what I mean? So you, you gotta just remember that he'll make an A fighter look like a C fighter, a B fighter look like a D fighter. Just horrible. You, you see what I'm saying? So, but everybody, all everybody keep talking about is, oh, he hasn't fought nobody. People won't get in the ring with him. You understand what I'm saying? You gotta get, you can't force nobody to sign no contract. So at the end of the day, he gonna fight. I think it's only fair to say, like with every other fighter, what we say, you fight who's in front of you, right? Because y'all don't say that about Crawford. That's not what y'all say, you know what I mean? He fight who's in front of him and he stops them, even if they're garbage, even if he maybe we think he shouldn't be fighting them. And so at the end of the day, Devin is going to fight who is put in front of him until the other champions or the top lightweight champions or the, uh, the, the guys in the lightweight division step up, period, period. So it's it's a lot of talk, and we and we and we understand the um, we understand politics, right? So if you if you talk boxing politics, you can say what you want to say. Ryan Garcia is smart. He, he calling everybody out, and know he he know he don't want no smoke. Why? At the end of the day, Golden Boy not gonna let him get in any danger. Why? Because he's the golden ticket, Golden Boy, golden ticket, right? So at the end of the day, they know Ryan is the future. So why we why are we gonna throw Ryan into some? A crazy fight, we know he he gonna lose. Cause you already did that with Canelo. Golden Boy, you know what you did with Canelo. Threw him in there with Mayweather, but we ain't gonna get into that. That's a whole nother video. But they're not gonna throw Ryan in there with Javante. They're not gonna throw him in there with Tia Fimo, definitely. And they're not gonna throw him in there with Devin. Not right now, maybe later on, but not right now. So Ryan is smart, you know, he he he, he talk his mess. But he really, he really know he don't want no smoke. You know what I mean? But I, I don't want to get into him too much because that's a whole other video because you really should be fighting Devin, ain't you? You really should be fighting Devin, but I, I don't want to keep... I, I got a video for you. I, I, I might put it, drop it tonight, but yeah. But at the end of the day, my prediction is this. I think Devin Haney, I think he's going to definitely outback, outbox uh, Lenares, but it's so many ways. So I got I to give two predictions because I can't give one. I think I think first five or six rounds, we'll see what Lenares has. Lenares will let his hands go. I think he's going to be doing a lot of missing. And, you know, when you miss, it makes you more tired. You're right. And I think he's going to have to chase Devin a little bit because Devin is going to be using them legs. Devin is not just going to stand in front of him, I think, for the first couple of rounds. Devin is going to use them legs. Devin's going to counter. Devin's going to move. But I think after the fifth or sixth, you're going to see Devin start coming forward and Devin's going to start letting them hands go. And if Lenares is tired, I think Devin puts on the gas and gets him out of there. And I think I think he st I think he stops Lenares, or he could beat him by just sitting on the outside and outboxing him. Because like I said, I don't 
Linares can't. I don't want to say I, I think Linares can't outbox Devin for 12 rounds. Linares doesn't have enough gas to fight Devin for 12 rounds to win convincingly. So I believe Devin will win um, unanimous decision or he's going to get the stoppage in a late round. And that's your boy, Real Deal Boxing Talk. Now, y'all don't forget, and all the people that watch my videos, I love y'all. Don't forget, I got love for everybody. But like, subscribe, leave a comment. Y'all know I go through all my comments. I'm going to hit you back, tell you what I feel, or I just like your comment, or I just tell you, you know, I respect, I respect, you know, whatever you got to say. But like I said, I respect everybody, you know what I'm saying? And but for the most part, everybody leaves a comment, and everybody respectful on my channel. And I know I'm not big like the other channels, but, man, I'm just trying to bring y'all the real what I feel. But I respect everybody. So like I said, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Just let me know what y'all think. If y'all don't think Devin Haney can win the fight, tell me Devin Haney can't win the fight. If you think Devin Haney gonna get knocked out by the Nars, then tell me that in my comments. If you a Devin Haney fan and you think Devin Haney gonna go in there and win every round, just let me know. You know what I mean? You think Devin Haney's gonna uh, outbox him? Just let me know. I'm trying to see 100 comments. I need 100 comments. Y'all let me know what y'all feel. This your boy, real dope, real deal boxing talk, and I can only bring you the real.